In the doo-wop shop tonight, I mentioned earlier I didn't know how to uh, describe this gentleman. I said impersonator. I don't know if that's the right word, but we'll find out. Uh, Lee Estrada, who uh, does a tribute to Elvis Presley. Welcome to the doo-wop shop, Lee. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much, Don. Nice to be here. Um, tell me, what are you exactly? How do you describe yourself? Because, uh, you know, there, there are people around who do what you do, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and a lot of them were called impersonators. Uh, how do you see yourself? Uh, okay, back around 1972 when I started out, uh, I was legitimately called an Elvis impersonator because naturally Elvis Presley was still alive in his prime performing around the countryside. And back then I considered myself an impersonator. But of course, after his untimely passing, we respectfully call the show a tribute to Elvis. Mm -hmm. And she'll get the right start. All right, we're back, and uh, please welcome back uh, for return visit, I guess, when you're hot, you're hot, Lee Estrada. Welcome, Lee. Thank you very much. I haven't seen you in a while. It's been almost a year or so, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. it has. Yeah, for sure. You've been pretty busy, though. Yeah, we've been going pretty nuts lately. <laughs> Good. I know you go around and you do a uh, nightclub act and a show all about Elvis Presley. You look a lot like him. Thank you. Thank you very much. And they say you're pretty good. Well, I try to be, but this is my 12th year of doing the Elvis Presley show now. Really? How do people react to that mostly? Do they, are they pleased that you're doing it? Or are they, uh, what's, what's the reaction? Well, generally the Elvis fans are pretty supportive of it. Uh, we all, of course, I'm an Elvis fan also, miss uh, Elvis since his passing in 77, and they appreciate having somebody up there to keep the memory alive. That's great. Well, the music is great too, isn't it? Oh, I enjoy it very much. I'm reading here a, uh, a piece about you where you've worked with some really top people uh, like Bobby Rydell and uh, Johnny Maestro and the Crest, uh, Fred Paris and the Five Satins, the Angels, the uh, Ink Spots, they all think you're terrific. You know, we have a ball every time we open up the show for them. It's, it's, it's a thrill for me because I get to actually be with the original people that opened up the era of music that yeah. I'm into. Now you just came out with a new record. Yes, we did. Tell yeah. me the story behind it. Okay, um, the um, we were able to production of it uh, actually took place locally in uh, Rutherford, New Jersey, Fox Recording oh. Studios. And uh, we got together with one of the record producers, Ron Luciano, my manager, Shelley Rosenberg. And we put together a couple of tunes that we'd like to do in our stage presentation and figured we'd offer that to the public for sale. That's great. And what, which one are you going to do for us first? We'll do Oh Pretty Woman, which is the classic Roy Orbison tune for you. All right. Here's Lee Estrada, everybody.
This is a great job. Thank you very, very much. Very, very good. Say, so while, we're, while we're getting the other song on the other side uh, set up, uh, you're going to be working locally around here uh, pretty soon, aren't you? Yes, we're doing a Halloween night. We're having a party over in Garfield at the Gregory Club. Yeah. And uh, Steady Tuesdays through the month of November would be in Clifton at the establishment. Terrific. What kind of crowd do you draw? We draw crowds, believe it or not, uh, the young and the old alike. We get the new kids that come out for something. Uh, to, I guess they're inquisitive about rock and roll, so they come out and they see our show. And, of course, the people in the, uh, their middle 40s, et cetera, come on out to, to reminisce about a past era. How about new music? Y you like it at all? Definitely, I do. I find uh, a lot of reflections in the newer music that go back to the old, so it's kind of like a, a, a funny relationship, for example, the Stray Cats and things of that nature. Every, everything gets uh, thrown back. Seems like this fact that the hottest tune around the country now is this wham, uh, jitterbug thing. You think that's coming back, too? It's possible. Everything, they always say history repeats itself, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Where are you going to be again on the 31st? The 31st at the Gregory Club of Garfield. Right, and Tuesday night? Tuesday nights at the establishment in Clifton, New Jersey. What are you going to do for us now? Uh, th now we're going to be doing uh, a song that was written by a famous songwriter named Mac Davis. Uh, he wrote this one for Elvis back in 1968, and Elvis performed it in his comeback return special to television oh. back in 68. And this is our version, which has new added lyrics by Mac Davis. All right, here's Leah Estrada doing Memories. Thank you. 